SST laboratory for zebrafish and uh, where I begin my work to study the mechanisms for stroke and neurodegeneration and some ways we can improve people's outcomes after they have the stroke insult. So what my lab is going to begin doing is we are going to begin treating zebrafish with drugs that are already approved for human medications but they are approved for our other indications such as diabetes and we will take these drugs and give the stroke uh, to the fish in a, a way that is similar to how humans will have a stroke. Essentially what we will do is we remove the oxygen from their water and then no oxygen is flowing to their brain for some period. And then we'll measure uh, the brain cell uh, death or the infarct volume inside the fish brains. Uh, after we've screened the fish in this way for drugs and also for some, some genes as well, uh, we will take the uh, positive uh, chemicals and, and genes and test our hypotheses with these in rats. And so the rat model for stroke is, is, is very well characterized and uh, models human diseases very well. Uh, what we do is we create a clot in their brain and the blood will stop flowing and then we can reverse this. And so we'll test for our compounds in these rats as well. And with our collaborators at the Emergency Medicine Center, uh, the Republican Diagnostic Center for Emergency Medicine, we will begin to try to apply these uh, drugs that are either approved or are similar to approved drugs to human populations. So uh, we've met many times and, and we're hoping to begin uh, many new projects in collaboration with uh, the medical center there and, and the faculty uh, in, in particular, Agzem Zumadilova uh, is collaborating with our lab uh, to develop novel stroke treatments and novel therapies to improve recovery following stroke. Uh, currently, there are no treatments available for uh, patients who have strokes to improve their recovery after. There are only drugs or some treatments to re reduce the risk of stroke. Uh, yet, we know that some people recover better than others. And so really what we're trying to discover is why some people recover better from stroke than others do. Uh, it, it, for a clinician, it's very difficult to convince patients to change their behaviors that increase their likelihood of, of stroke. We like to eat fat food and we like to watch television and not exercise. And, and so usually by the time they realize there is a problem, it's too late. And so really we need to focus on recovery from the stroke. And, uh, it's, it's really, this is one of the first labs in the world to focus on this subject. And uh, I, I think we'll, we'll make a lot of, of progress. Uh, in particular, uh, w the science behind the ideas that we have for this is the recommendation that one should exercise to improve their stroke outcome. However, many people that have stroke are unable to move their limbs very well uh, and are unable to ex physically unable to exercise. And so what we want to do is activate biochemical pathways that are associated with exercise and improve the stroke outcome this way. And so our fish work has just begun. We are making babies <laughs> right now. Uh, we, we have uh, just a few fish, but it's very exciting. I, I've been at Nazarbayev University since the end of October and uh, have done a lot of teaching and working with students. And we have a lot of student involvement in my laboratory's work. Um, my background focuses on uh, neuroscience and epigenetic mechanisms and, and the students are all very interested in this and the technicians as well. And so we're seeking uh, outside funding for research as well and I'd, I'd like to be able to involve as many students as possible. But currently we have uh, five or six students that are involved in the laboratory uh, learning to do protein biochemistry and DNA stuff like this and uh, also the teaching assistants and future graduate students are working as well. Uh, so the lab will be very broad in its approach to the scientific questions we ask because I've worked in many different fields. So I can bring uh, both the cell culture work, the animal work, the biochemistry, and even the clinical research all together in one project with our collaborators, of course. And so the students will really have a rare opportunity to learn uh, how to approach a project uh, uh, without being... Uh, limited by their own knowledge of techniques, which should not be a limitation. Uh, but